Sai here. So I am wanting to make this shark and I got it from Intarja Designs, which is a pretty cool little uh, website and you can become a subscriber or member there. Anyway, and they'll send you emails of different Intarja designs that you can purchase. And they have some free designs too. But this is one I purchased and it was like $5.95 or something. And when you print it off, it has some instructions and then it, it has the pieces already divided for you so you can just cut them out and go. I noticed a couple things I didn't like on it though so I, I changed it up a little bit. I am going to use blue pine. And I know I just, I've been using so much blue pine lately, but I just love it. But I think gray for the shark would look really, really slick. And so I have this blue pine too, which is a lot lighter. So I'm gonna use this dark blue pine and this light blue pine and make the shark. So awesome. So I'm gonna cut all the pieces out or that are Okay, I have all the pieces light laid out now on their designated woods and the I need to fix this because this is the part I didn't like on the shark. And so I have the two pieces and I'm just going to tape them together because it doesn't make sense to my brain. So I taped two pieces together, removing some of the part that didn't make sense. Well, I am going to try to lacquer thinner transfer these and um, it doesn't need to be perfect because I just need to see a little bit of it so I can cut it out easier than gluing it with the paper. So I'm just going to see if the transferring works. It might not. So this did not work out as well as I hoped it would. And it did take a lot longer than just adding blue tape and gluing the pattern to the blue tape. It ended up being really light and I wouldn't do a tarja this way again. Alrighty, I cut them down to more manageable pieces with the miter saw. And now I'm going to use the scroll saw and cut away. Okay, you have lots of fixing up to do. To fix these gaps, or to attempt to fix these gaps, I am going to take out my Pegasus Modified Geometry Blade and replace it with a just a regular old blade number three. I made another video showing this process in depth, so I'm not going to go over it right now. If you'd like to see how I attempted to fix these gaps, I will leave a link in the description box and perhaps a link on top of the video right here. For now, let's move on to other things. I'm gonna work on the eyeball right now, and I have this little tiny piece of ebony, and this, this will fit right there. So I'm just gonna cut that out and glue it right there. I'm not gonna try to transfer it since it's dark already. And this will be a challenge to cut out, but we'll see if we can do it. So we have lots to hold on to. The most challenging thing will be leaving, having the sticker stay on there. All right, just let that dry for a little bit. I picked out a drill bit for the eye, then drilled it about where it should go and sanded it a bit. Okay, well, people have asked me how I make these little pieces and I don't know, I keep telling myself to stop doing that because it's not that easy to do. And anyway, I'm gonna do it again right now but I've got lots of handle, so that's good. That's one of the keys is being able to hold on to it while you're cutting that little piece. So let's try it. Thought of something. If I want to make a catch light in the eye, I should do it now. Do you think a catch light would look good in a shark's eye? No, maybe. Let's just do it. I'm gonna back out. Okay. Oh, yay. Okay, I have a little tiny piece of um, Oregon lilac, which is really light, and I have this tons of sharpener on the wall that I put here. So I'm just gonna try and see if I can make it sharp. Look at that, oh, 
Perfect. I'm gonna use a 1 16th drill bit and drill just a little tiny bit in there and then add a little tiny catch light, which I'm super excited about. Yeah, I always am excited about these things. So where should it go? How about here? How about there? <laughs> and I know it's gonna ruin my paper, but I don't want it to. Oh, it's not ruining it, yay. little dab of glue in there. Glue it in. I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on this scrap piece. Okay, let's let that sit for a little bit. Like 20 minutes or so. Okay, it's been some time now, so let's cut that off. out the rest of it. So I went back and finished cutting out the eye very carefully, this little tiny piece, and then at the end it just popped out for me. Husband got like a hood thing for this. Um, I'm not sure where it is, so I need to ask him about it. But I'm just gonna sand this a little bit, but I think I'll be fine. Oh, the puppies are barking at the, there's a buck sitting out there. They're just eating away. Puppy dogs. Hey, Wally. Good boy, Wally. You too, Gibbs, no barkies. Yeah, guys. Well, I found the hood thing. And this drop down is the only one that it fits on because it has that adapter stuff on it. So I'm just gonna stick that on like that. And I brought my sander over here. And now I'm gonna wheel my table over and get to sanding. Yay! left it at the house. Rats. But I'm just going to try this and if it's too bad I'll go get my mask. The hood didn't collect the dust as I was hoping it would but it collected it enough so I didn't go down and get my mask. I know. Shame on me. Okay. I got it all nice and shaped. Now on to hand sanding. Woohoo! We need 100 grit first. I've got the 100 grit all done, and now I'm going to move on to the 150 and the 220. Yay! But first, I'm going to glue this together and clamp it right there. My favorite CA glue is DAP right now in this little bottle with the blue lid. It sets fast, but slow enough to work with a little bit. And if you want to speed it up, a squirt of 2P10 makes it bond instantly. As that set, I finished sanding with the 150 and the 220. Okay, I finished sanding everything, so now I'm going to put the eyeball in. I pushed the eye in place from the back side. I didn't add any glue at this point. Well, I usually print and transfer a Bible verse, but our printers are down. And our internet is messed up right now. So I am going to uh, just wipe a verse out and do it like that. So I am picking Psalm 148, number seven. It says, Praise the Lord from the earth, you large sea animals and all the oceans. To Noah, love grandma. 
So I'm gonna use this as my backer. I love this dark walnut and I have a bunch of pieces I've been resawing into smaller slabs. So I've been using it a lot. It is too dark to transfer to or to ride on, so I am gluing the one quarter inch plywood with the verse on it to the back. And when it was dry, I placed a wire hanger with a couple of screws. Then moved the shark over and started gluing each piece with tight bond wood glue. and I sprayed it with Krylon Clear. Well, the shark is all done, and I think the blue pine looks pretty cool on this piece of walnut. Yay! So, Nadine and Noah happen to be here, and this is for Noah, so I'm gonna give it to him right now. Shark! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Grandma. And then, I gave Nadine a picture that I had painted of a tiger since she really likes tigers, but I also made them some name plates. Ooh. Out of the walnut. <laughs> so thanks for joining us, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. I wanted to let you know I've put links to some of the things I've used in this video in the description box below. Some are affiliate links and some are not. So if you're curious about something I used, then just click away. Or send me an email if you have questions about anything else.